Arguello, was born on September 12, 1967, one of six siblings. She was last seen sometime in late 1969 or early 1970. The story of her reported last days was relayed as follows by her sister, Margarita. This day, nine-year-old Margarita was told by their mom, Anita Vega, to stay home from school and check on Anna Marie. Anna Marie had been beaten, deprived of food, and put in a cold room naked, all for wetting her bed the night before. When Margarita checked on her sister, she found that Anna Marie had found a pair of shorts and wet those as well. This is when Anita Vega ordered Margarita to draw a bath of cold water. What followed was several hours of Anna Marie alternating between being in the cold water and being beaten by her mother. At one point, Anita ordered Margarita to run cold water over Anna Marie's body. Anita eventually left the room, then later told Margarita to check on her sister again. Margarita found Anna Marie floating face down in the water and told her mom she thought her sister was dead. Anita put Anna Marie on the back porch and wrapped her in a blanket. Even though she had started to make noise, Anita told Margarita, If you ever tell, I'll kill you. And you've seen me do it, so you know I can. When her other children got home from school, she told them Anna Marie was dead and that they'd had the funeral while they were gone. Margarita went back out to the porch to get some toys for a sibling and heard Anna Marie making more noise. Later on that afternoon, Luis, who was Anita's boyfriend and would later become her husband, got home from work. He soon left again and came back holding a box. Margarita overheard her mom asking what had taken him so long to get home. He replied, it wasn't easy to bury a body in the frozen ground. Around 1985, Margarita said her mom gave her a brown sack with dirt and a bone inside, claiming the bone belonged to Anna Marie. Anita would later claim she buried the sack in a local cemetery. Anna Marie's disappearance wouldn't be reported to police until 1992. Margarita, who was in her 30s by this time, told her therapist about it after suffering from nightmares from it for years. The staff at the mental health facility where she was getting therapy said she had to report Anna Marie's murder or they would do it for her. When police learned of the disappearance, they searched the cemetery where Anita Vega had claimed to bury Anna Marie's body, but they found only animal bones. They eventually uncovered Anna Marie's birth certificate and one photo of her, the only evidence she ever existed. Anita Vega was questioned about her daughter's murder in 1993. She initially denied Anna Marie's existence, but admitted it when investigators showed her the birth certificate. She said that day she had found Anna Marie unconscious and waited for Luis to come home, then he'd buried her. She later changed her story and said she'd found Anna Marie dead on the bed. She claimed she'd kept Anna Marie's death a secret because she was afraid Luis would be deported if anyone knew of his involvement. In 1994, Anita Vega was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. She was sentenced to 1-10 to 10 years in prison and ended up serving 3. Her other children support her and don't believe Margarita's story. Anna Marie's remains have never been found. Anna Marie Arguello was two years old when she was last seen in Frankfort, Indiana in late 1969 or early 1970. Anna Marie was a Native American female with dark brown hair and brown eyes. She is no longer believed to be alive, but would be 54 years old if she was.